Hey everyone, welcome to season three. That's right, season three. And we're going to start out this season by finishing up the project that we started last season. This way, we have a good start to the season. And we're going to continue after this and collect more resources. And then I'm debating on whether to expand upon this or move on to somewhere else and build a different kind of community. Maybe like off in the spruce things to that kind of a treehouse thing. I don't know. But until then, let's keep building. So we've got like a really good start to the roofing part of here. We know exactly what has to be done to finish it off. So we have to do these three blocks later. But until then, we have to do the final touches. So I th I'm, I'm debating on whether or not to do a flat top roof or a um, arc roof. Um, I mentally, I debated doing a, like a mix of both. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have it go up probably about three blocks and then cut across. So that way it's not a perfect pyramid like that. So to accomplish this, I'm going to need more wood. And more, is it just me or is it extra hazy? Hmm. So, um, maybe I should do, should I do cobblestone for the roof? Cobblestone trimmings along the top there. Or should I do stone brick trimmings? Hmm. I did a stone brick trimming over here, so I think I would have to probably follow the trend of doing a stone brick trimmings for the top layer, so I'll have to do that. Oh, and I also need to do the part up there too, and the part down there. So I need more stairs and more slabs that are stone brick. So we're going to go and get the trimmings done before we start up on the roof. Um, let's just uh, pop pop in some cobblestone and we're going to do a little quick check here to make sure that we have all the, the goodies and whatnot okay um Alright, now, but that's not nearly enough uh, stone brick stairs to accomplish my goal. So I'm going to need to craft a little bit more than that. So, that's what I'm going to do. We'll leave it at that for now and craft more if we actually need it. But until then, let's get some sleep. <sighs> All right. Uh. Can we not play this game right now? That's what I thought. Okay. So let's go do some trimmings. So I believe the pattern is set so that way... Yep, okay, cool. Just what I thought. Alright, so we're going to start on this side here because we can actually grapple off this edge and land where exactly where we need to be. Perfect. Alright, we're going to start out by placing that and then we're going to need our slabs. 
And just pop those up there like that. Just kind of slither those in there. Should I also do the bottom layer too? Like that. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll save that for later. We'll do a test comparison in the front. And then we'll look at it from below and see how it looks. And if I like it, we'll do it. If not, then it will not happen. All right, so if I remember correctly on the longer segments, I guess on this one it actually really wouldn't matter because of the way we're doing it, but let's do that there and then take a look. Hmm. Um, I think the bottom layer should be empty because the problem with that is, is it adds too much forward definition and doesn't give, um, enough, like, kind of, I'm trying to think of the word here, dimension, you know, like, it's a little bit more fancy than dimension, but I don't know. It gets the point across, I guess, but it's just like a, it takes away from it, I guess, and I don't want it to do that. I want it to maintain its, um, the feel of depth to it, but there's a word I'm looking for, but I can't, whatever. You know what? I'm not an English major. I'm a computer science major. This is literally not my job. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. Oh, I like that. That's much better, I think. Ah, but there needs, to, there needs to be something on the bottom layer there. Maybe I need, like, a... I'll leave it for now, and depending on what I do down here, that'll be the deciding factor. Till then, we're waiting for the grass to, glow, grass to grow on there, which that's taking a while. I can't just pop in a silk till I could, technically, but I don't want to waste the experience. I want to kind of save my experience for a little bit. Um, let's go get more logs. We definitely need more logs. I'm really excited for the next update to come out because of the new blocks it'll be adding as well as the new ways to craft stuff. So that'll be kind of a fun little change of pace in the world of Minecraft. And it looks like I'm going to have to find a new way to get more diamonds because um, there is currently a deficit in the diamond supply. You know, at the rate I'm going... Oh, no, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. I'll probably start doing spider mines later on this season, once I get some buildings finished. Just so that way I can get some better uh, diamonds and whatnot. Although before I do that, I'm probably going to try to get a library and then get a brand new diamond pick with, that's like with one of the, the, uh, the max tier ones that has like unbreaking efficiency and fortune on it. Those ones are really rare, but boy, do they pack a punch and they do a really good job too of collecting resources and they last for almost ever and they're really fast. So it's like, you know, perfect.
So I think I almost have a good amount of logs here, but what I'm going to have to probably do is just kind of go over what I think is good just to make sure. Because I would hate to run out again and have to go back out and collecting for a ninth for the ninth time. Yeah. Ah, oh, these days are getting really long with uh, university. It is uh, right back to making me consider dropping out. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Oh, even though, technically speaking, you know, I'll only make a certain amount because the way employers work, I'll never actually be like, you know, rolling in a fortune unless I start my own company. And ah, oh, it's depressing. I might start branching out and expanding my, uh, or, uh, quarreling my fears of, um, video-based stuff and might open up a second ASMR channel for video-based whatevers and just have this one be a gaming ASMR channel. Uh, and then I'll just slowly build a brand from there, I guess. Whatever. Maybe that way I can worry less about being able to survive and actually just live uh, I can dream <laughs> uh, all right so I don't know if I want to do uh, let's see if I did the stacking pyramid like this yeah I'm gonna do that um, then we're going to have a dirt outline here for it, like that. Um, maybe one lower, yeah. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason I have the, um, the, uh, Okay, so I've had a song stuck in my head, and as soon as I try to like point it out and identify it, it like just goes away, and it's like no longer stuck in my head. And I don't know if I'm frustrated or finally relieved that it's gone. Probably a mix of both. <sighs> so, uh,. There's a sort of a, I'm trying to think here, hold on. I'm like trying to direct my attention in like multiple directions and it's really uh, taking a toll here. Uh-oh. Mm. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, so, anyway. I think I was gonna actually tell some stories of the uh, the old. Uh, yeah, I need some stone brick outline that's out there. Of the old uh, fast food experiences again, because why not? But uh. I can't really think of anything that are like, you know, super easy to tell. Huh. Well, I guess I could tell the coupon story. Um, I actually have a screenshot um, of the manager saying this. So... Um, I have it pretty well memorized, but basically, one of the employees took a coupon that was expired by a dig. 
um, by accident because the coupon printing is extremely small, hard to read, and yada yada yada. But at the same time, she is a um, veteran employee, so she she had been there for a long, long time. Something's not right here. Something's not right with the way I'm doing this. Anyway, so she was a veteran employee. She had been working this store, I think, for almost two years. Which is just crazy, in my like mind. Well, then again, the mentality at that restaurant was very occult-like. Um... And I'm serious when I say that. I say it was very cold, like I'm not being like mean or anything. I mean that um, the managers kind of pushed this weird like mentality onto you. And, it, and like now looking back on it, it was very occultic in nature. Um, shoot, I don't know. See, it's almost like because of those studs there, it calls for there being a flat roof. I guess I do kind of have a start of that with those slabs there. So let's let's change that up a little bit and do a flat style roof with a little bit of a twist to it. Gosh. Well, it's the process of building trial and error, I guess. So, back to the coupon story. Um, she has been working there for nearly two years. Um, loyal employee to the end. I don't think she, you know, yeah, she definitely wasn't one of the ones sleeping with the manager. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm saying all this stuff, uh, refer to episode three and seven of the Minecraft series when I actually begin to talk about my experiences in the food service industry. But, um, basically, um, it turns out the manager was sleeping with a lot of the girls after they turned 18, uh, and cheating on his wife and his family, basically. Just a really, really scummy guy. Uh, he actually used to make fun of me in order to bring himself up. So, because I have, um... I have kind of like longer hair. It's sort of, um, it's really early 2000s skater like, if if that makes any sense. And um, so I obviously have to put in a ponytail and hair net it every time before work. And I remember I was checking out or clocking out. I let my hair down, and the manager had just gotten a a um a haircut. And all the 18 year olds were surrounding him, so I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, you look so cute. You look like a little boy. It's like, yeah, I look better than this guy. And he points at me, and it's like, all right, you know, I'm just going to go home. I don't really have time to deal with your nonsense and whatever. It wasn't just me, it was also a lot of the other guys. He would constantly try to bring them down to make himself feel like a much, 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 much better. Uh, human being, but we all saw through his, uh, charade of lies. So, anyways, she, uh, the, 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 you know, two-year girl, we're gonna call her Abby, she, um, Abby, well, I didn't like her personally, um, and this is due to a bunch of reasons why that I really don't want to get into, but... I'll probably get into them, but, um, even though we had our problems and sometimes she could be a little bit on the bad side of an employee, she was generally one of the more appreciated employees when it came to customer relations because she could deal with people while she wasn't good to her coworkers, she was good with people and she made a lot of really good choices I got the restaurant a lot of five-star reviews. So let's just leave it at that. So she accepts a coupon that was expired by one day. And a message appears on GroupMe from the manager that says, as a reminder, 
and this is a rough quotation, I have to open the message if I want a pure quotation, but I'll be able to get the gist of it. So he says, just as a reminder, for if, if you cash a coupon that is not valid, the money from the money lost from the sale will come out of out of your pocket into mine. There will be, uh, it will not be taken out of your check. It will, uh, no. So it was, he said, it will not come out of your check. It will come out of your pocket and into mine. And you know, to a bunch of seventeen-year-olds and you know teenagers and whatnot, you know it. it you know it's wrong and scummy, but it's like, what? It, well, what can you do? Like. And I was afraid to quit because I didn't want a bad, um, a bad record on my resume. Because one of my buddies who had quit, um, and gave, and he gave a two weeks advance, said that he was going to be, you know, moving on and whatever. And he asked for a recommendation from them. And this guy, um what could be accredited to one of their head cooks like he basically built the menu for the restaurant for i want to say restaurant it's like a mix between restaurant and fast food to be honest but he basically built the menu he wanted to move on and um get out of the culinary stuff and actually do something and it involved team building so for references he put down the managers they apparently said that he was impossible to work with would oftentimes pick fights with employees and a bunch of other lies about him and he didn't get hired because of that and apparently they would do this a lot so uh, just thinking back to it now it just it's just so scummy like And anyway, so, you know, poor Abby, she got, you know, basically written up for it and all that stuff and whatever. And I was always on the manager's uh, off end every now and then. Um, for the dumbest reasons. One of them was because, uh, oh, shoot, let me think of a really good example here. Oh, <laughs> One of them was for answering a question a coworker asked me. So, my buddy, who actually got me hired at the job, we were, you know, side talking as we were working because both of us were really good workers when we were like having a conversation with each other. So we're talking, and he asked me a question, and I respond, and I get yelled at for having side conversations while trying to work, for responding to a question. So it, it it's stuff like that where. He doesn't, he would basically purposely target me rather than the other employees just because, I, I don't know, I guess I was an easier target. I mean, I did, I did, you know, occasionally have the times where there was nothing to do. I had gone through, did, did stock, uh, cleaned basically the entire kitchen, gave the griddle a fresh polish, you know, all that stuff. And I was basically just stuck sitting around and doing nothing. I had finished everything on the list. He walks in, sees that I'm doing nothing, and, you know, yells me for being lazy and whatever. And, uh, yeah, so after basically spending the entire night on a slow night, uh, cleaning the absolute hell out of the kitchen, doing stock, doing inventory, uh, double-checking inventory and stock, and doing all that stuff, apparently that does not quite matter, and um, all that stuff. So, so there, there was literally nothing to do. I was just waiting for the next order. We had enough um, food prep done to last us all throughout the next day. So there was quite literally nothing to do. But I still got yelled at for being lazy. So, yeah. <sighs> the one thing that manager, that manager did do, though, that I will... Um, commend him on is that okay actually I can't even do that because that's not that's a lie if I say that um, I was gonna say he's really you know he at least worked with us in the line 
But if he makes a mistake, then it's your fault. Um, I remember in particular where my buddies was trying to make a Philly cheesesteak. And, uh, you know, he made it, got it ready to go. The meat was cooking. He had all the ingredients prepared on it. The manager goes to, um, to put on the bun and basically prepare it. And totally ruins the, the meat, uh, you know, in cheese preparation that he had, you know, set up. And the manager blamed him for it, saying that, you know, he was the reason why the uh, Philly cheesesteak looked terrible. Even though I've seen him make Philly cheesesteaks hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of times. And he, he makes, he, you know, he would make them really good. So it wasn't like, you know, the manager just messed up and decided to blame the co-workers. And just, ugh, just, just bad stuff in general. So, I guess I can talk about some of the stuff Abby used to do. Um, and there's also, we'll just call her Mackenzie. Mackenzie used to watch Netflix and not do her job. And then when she threatened to quit, she got a pay raise. So, there was that. Um, and then Abby took notes and did the same thing. So they both got pay raises from threatening to quit. So, yeah. And uh, one of them dropped out of college. Okay, so I called it a cult earlier because of the way like he like, treats the girls and whatnot. One of them dropped out of college and abandon her dream of being a uh, neurosurgeon to work in the restaurant with him, with the manager. And she's still working there to this day. Whenever I pass by, I see her car out there. She's still working there to this day. She abandoned her, and it's it, it's not like, you know, she found, like, true love or anything like that. It's just, like, a very occultic mindset. It's just... It's it's just not okay. And, uh, I don't know. I, I can't really explain it properly. Just just because it's it's one of those things where it's like it's just really difficult to explain the behavior you witness. Um. Oh yeah. One time I walked out from the kitchen and I saw the two of them groping each other in the manager's office. And then as soon as they saw me, they like kind of did that thing where they like act like they're not doing it and they like quickly pull away and act all like innocent. And it's like, I know exactly what you're doing. Stop trying to act all that. Whew. This is a great way to start up the new season, am I right? Okay, let's see how that looks on the side there. Ugh, I hate that so much. I do not like that at all. Ugh. I'm going to go and take one quick little trim off the top of that there. And then we're going to see how that looks. Crap. I hate making mistakes like this. Okay. Let's just give the side here a quick little trim. And then we'll take a look at it. Let's also break that corner there. Maybe I should have done a... Uh, a slant roof instead of a flat top. So while well, flat tops are easier, they're not very uh, stylish. But you know what? Uh, I'm just practicing for the big deal that I'll do later on. <sighs> Honestly, the reason why I'm not even, like, checking, because I know for a fact that anything will look better than what I just saw there. Ugh. 
I don't know what I was thinking, making it that wide. That was a terrible idea. That much of an overlap. What was I thinking? That was so just not okay. Uh oh, there's going to be a lot up there, right there. Yep. I'm really disappointed in myself after doing that. <sighs> that looks... Ugh. Okay, next episode we're going to have to work on the roof and actually do the roof right. So, that is not at all what I want for the roof. So, I might end up actually end up kind of caving and doing a a slant like that because this looks good for this style here because of the glass it doesn't go too far over there's none of the pillars but i think the pillars are, what are like what's throwing it off there i don't know maybe it does need the corners on the roof i'm gonna add the corners real fast and see how that looks I've always had a hard time with roofs. Like I've been really, I'm like, I'm, I'm decent with everything else, but I have a really rough time with doing roofs. Wait, what if I, nah, actually I, I am kind of curious what happens if I would peek that out like this, only on the parts right there. Like that. All right, oh, come on, please look decent, please, please, please. It's not gonna look good at all, it's gonna look terrible. Yeah, that looks really bad. Oh, but I do have an idea of the roof now, what I can do. I will be doing that next episode. Cool, that'll definitely look nice. All right, I can't wait to try that out. Well, stay tuned for next episode and see what wacky idea my brain has in, envisioned for this abomination of a roof. I'm not even going to worry about that. Ugh. Hmm. Yep, just give it a little bit of time. Next episode, you'll see. You'll uh, you'll be shocked at how terrible it looks, or how great it looks. Either way. Uh, anyways, let's get a a cut off screenshot of this putrid abomination here from over here. Actually, maybe I... Oh, the sun's over here. So if I catch it from up here... No, I think I have a picture like that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do this now. We're gonna so we're gonna save the screenshot until after the roof is done. Well, maybe we should do one from the top of the crane. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll just do uh that. That's kind of that's all right. I have no complaints. Well, I do have a lot of complaints, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, you know. We got some ranting done. That was okay. Let me know if you guys enjoy hearing those fast food stories and me rambling about my weird, super weird fast food experiences. Um, because, I mean, it's kind of hard to talk about them while also trying to concentrate on doing this at the same time so that might be something that i have to do while like mining instead so but anyways 
Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed, please do. I could really use the numbers to click up a little bit. Um, I'm currently working towards one of the projects in my spare time. I've been talking about this for a while now. And... I'm a little, a little worried it may not be worth the effort I'm putting into it. Um, and I know for a fact it's not as good as what other people can do in the game, but, you know, it'll be cool for Redstone, for a Redstone ASMR video, so, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic